Well, good morning and welcome back to another episode of Heartbeat of the Timbavati. We are on lock with seven Mayambula females. An update on their movements and dynamics. They were six females together. One did split up and this morning it seems like all seven of them are together. The reason why these females sometimes do separate from one another is if they forming courtship with the pride males. Also when they are hiding cubs or giving birth to cubs that first eight weeks typically they'll be separated from the pride so who knows maybe the seventh lioness has got something to show. Seems like these girls may have eaten something during the night. I do see some bellies that looks relatively full. But they definitely finished up already, if it happened. But as you can see, somebody is quite keen to sleep for the rest of the day. Something lions do very well. They sleep for up to 16 hours a day, especially if it's hot. Today it will be about 30 degrees Celsius, so they may seek out some shade later on. So who knows, maybe one or two or even all seven of these lionesses will have cubs in the next uh, few weeks or nearby future. Man, that will be quite a formidable litter of cubs. The different females typically synchronize their estrus conditions during these times of courtship. So who knows? But we are willing to wait the agonizing long wait for cubs and maybe a white line will pop out. After all, the leucistic or the leucistic genes, the white lion genes or recessive gene does run through these individuals in their blood. As she got up and she's looking, seems like, for a new place to sleep, like Vincent said here at the back. So just for, with a good scratch before she's going to lie down. Well, it has been raining the last two days quite a bit, so I can imagine that the creepy crawlies or the bugs on the ground can be a little bit of a a problem at times for a sleeping cat so they would get up and constantly be moving not constantly but every now and then look for a new place to sleep the formidable Mayan Bula pride seven lionesses have made their way back to this area from the southeast with two males called the Skoro males and who knows, maybe in the next coming weeks, there will be cubs to see. That lion is flopping down there. Looks like she has either given birth to cubs or she is almost about to give birth to cubs. The mammary glands were quite swollen. So the girls not really obliging with uh, activities. The only activity they've got on their minds is to sleep for the rest of business. So on that note, 
We're going to be leaving the Mayan Bula Pride of Lionesses, which is good to see. It's the fact that all seven of them are together. So, we're going to leave these seven ladies, formidable ladies, in peace. And hopefully next time we see them, it's either with food or with cubs. Who knows? Until next time, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you soon. So it's afternoon and we are on lock with the Mayanbula lioness. It's been quite active. Early afternoon thunderstorms perhaps got them up and mobile. And they're going to come do a very nice walk by past us. One of the lionesses just briefly settling to quench her thirst there. The rest of the ladies are hanging back. Now we managed to get up the head of the lionesses again. As they continue to the east now, down to the Sharalume River. Thunder is coming. You can see the lioness is collectively moving down into the mighty Sharalume River. Let's see if we can regain their visual on the other side. And the drops are falling as well. Thunder is sighting with some thunder above us. So we did manage to catch up with them briefly. Well, they're on a mission and these girls are hungry. They did stop and pause and they're intently looking to our north. So maybe they can smell or hear something we cannot. Maybe some zebra and giraffe in the distance. So they are watching somewhere into the distance there, maybe there's some grazing animals behind us. Yo, but she is just perfect. Her condition is absolutely sublime. See the thunderstorm building in the backdrop. Oh, one of the lionesses is static on a small mound. Watching how the other lionesses approach closely. They are stalking something in that tree line up ahead. Not sure what it is though. If it's a dense thicket, who knows? Maybe it's some kudu. They, after all, they like the dense areas. One of the Mayambula lionesses glancing over her shoulder here to the back. We're going to have to leave the sighting now as these ladies are disappearing into the thickets. But another magical sighting and we'll catch up with them next time. Hopefully they make a kill and have something to eat tonight. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.